Ah, man, oh man, oh man. Let's talk about money. Everybody wants to talk about money. Number one, I want to show you my, my couch. Do you like couch? It's a nice couch, yeah. So, okay, enough of that. Everybody wants to talk about money. Everybody needs money to start a business, to buy land, to buy real estate. But guess what? There is $400 billion in federal funds in the United States of America. So guess what? Nobody should be broke. Nobody should 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 have to go to the bank and be denied. You know? So so what people do, they go ahead, they go online and they file for a grant. You know the mistakes I've seen with grant applications. People forget their name, which is ironic. People forget uh, the phone number, their address. The main thing that gr nonprofit organizations want to see is how are you going to help? Who are you going to help? That's, that's a common question. No? You have to be able to help somebody in order for the government to give you this money. These are the guidelines. The guidelines is you have to hire people. This this money is for the economy. So if so if you can't seem to help anyone or you can't hire anyone, you're going to be denied flat down. That's the secret to getting funding. That's the secret to getting a grant. And you know what? It's sad because so many people put so much effort into applying for a grant that they forget the main thing. I've I've had a lot of people get approved for grants, uh, and I, I'm gonna say this I'm not supposed to, uh, but people, people, people sometimes are greedy. You know how you get a you know how you get approved for a grant. Do not. Apply for, I, mean, I, I see some applications, oh, I want $200,000. You cannot do that. Listen, I'm going to tell you the secret about how to get the grant. And, okay, let's say you want to start a real estate business and you need, you need $100,000. Don't ask for $100,000. That's the dumbest thing you could do. Listen, there's over 100 nonprofit organizations. That means a group of them are going to give you a check. Let's say they say, okay, well, we're going to give this guy a check for $10,000 or this woman a check for $10,000. You're not just going to get $10,000. You're going to get multiple checks. Now, if money comes that and you already have the money you need, you're supposed to return it. Unless you can prove that you actually need that money. That's why when you ask for $100,000, they just toss it right in the trash. Or, you, or what happens is you get a denial letter. I urge people, don't ask for no more than $20,000. Because the smart thing is to ask for the minimum. Because then you'll get multiple checks. And then you can keep what you have. And make sure you take a copy. Make, make sure this is very important. Make sure you uh, take a, a get a copy of all the checks that you get, because the IRS is will the IRS is coming, and they're gonna ask you, you know, what did you do with this money? We need proof. We need invoices. This is what happens. I have a lady now going back and forth to court because she didn't use the money that she was supposed to. So it is very important that you take big copies. Keep invoices. Keep every last receipt. I don't care if something was a dollar fifty-two. Keep the receipt because that's what they, the IRS will go through your your books very thoroughly. So, if you're trying to get a grant and you you you're tired of being denied and you want to do it the right way, 
um, you can call me 610-470-8992 or text me. People, people, let me explain something to you. You do not need a proposal. You only need a, listen, you only need a proposal when you're applying for more than $50,000 or at least $50,000. You know, you do need a letter of appeal. A letter of appeal is a, a short version of your proposal. Basically, it's your mission. It's how much you need. It's your address. It's your, your phone number so they can contact you, your email address, who you would help, who are you going to hire in the next five to ten years. So this information is very, very vital. Um, um, th that's the layout of the letter. All you, all you need is a letter. Now, we do charge $199. The $199, $199 is for us to do your paperwork, you know, so we can send it back out to the nonprofit. Or did not, remember, there's 100 nonprofit organizations. They're going to see your letter. So some might say yes, some might say no, some might require additional information. If they send you a letter, please, and you know, I get this all the time. Mail it back right away. Don't wait. I have another lady. She was denied. She goes on vacation. She says, well, I'll do it when I get back. She gets back. She says she was approved. And she was supposed to uh, do some, mail something. They needed something so they could issue a check. She was too late. And she lost out. And the grant went to the, actually, the next person. They will go to the next person if you don't follow instructions. You're not the only one. There's thousands of people, not just people. There's thousands of people. There's thousands of uh, uh, organizations. There's thousands of nonprofit organizations. There's institutions. There's schools. So, you know, when you put yourself out there, you have to move quick. You know, they are not going to wait for you. Plain and simple. So, now, if you're denied, if you're denied, we, we give you a refund. Um, but if you if you apply the right way, you won't be, you won't get denied. You know, um, like I said, if you want to be successful, you have to start small. Think, think rational. If you need 50000 or $40,000, so you figure that's five organizations, five out of a hundred, you should be able to be approved. That's nothing. Say so. Don't don't say okay. I need fifty thousand dollars. No, you want to say you need ten thousand dollars. You know that's more doable, because you got to understand they have other other programs. You know that now is the right time because a lot of the funding is mainly used for disaster situations. So right now there's no disasters going on right now, so that's a good thing. Um, so right now is the great time to file. Um, make sure you know your business. That means is it means if you're trying to open up a flower shop, make sure you have invoices. Make sure not right now, but after you apply for your grant. Make sure you do all your research and make sure you deal with the companies that you're going to be dealing with because these nonprofit organizations are not going to sit back and just cut a check. They're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to reach out to you and say, hey, well, this is a great idea. Tell me a little bit about it. So have knowledge of what you're trying to do. And if they feel as though that you're worthy of getting this grant, they, they, they will help you. You know what I'm saying? That's what the money is there for. The money is there for help. And year after year, people sit around and, and they don't. And you know what? It's a simple way of just asking. You are you are a United States citizen. You're you, Legally, you have all right to it. So don't sit back and don't fulfill your dreams. Ask. It's your money. You pay taxes. It's your money. So. But the thing is, like I said, it's got to be done right. In order to be successful, you have to do things right. You know, and that's just it. That's just it. You know. Um, so if you're interested in the Final Four grant, 
Now, let me explain something to you. Um, personal grants are $99. Business grants are $199. So, I, I just want to clarify that. Uh, uh, we accept PayPal, debit cards. We accept Zelle, Venmo, uh, Walmart to Walmart, Western Union, uh, Google Pay. Um, also, um, if you want to make any donations, you can make your donations through PayPal. Our PayPal address is Kirby's Kingdom at gmail.com. Also, um, click the like and the subscribe. And um, I think that's about it. Yeah. So, remember, it's only one simple letter. Now, here's the breakdown of the letter. If, if those that were watching the video missed it. Your name, your address, your phone number, your email. Now, then you go down a little bit and you want to write the amount that's needed, right? That is very important. Don't be greedy. Also, um, your mission, what you want to do, you know, what type of business is going to be, what kind of service is going to be. Then you want to write, you want to space it and go down again. And then you want to write, um, uh, who it would help, you know, see, you know, multiple people or one, you know, more, more than one person, you know. Um, you know, you don't have to name names, you, you know, you can say your, your neighborhood, your your state, you know, or whatever. Um, also, in the last part, last part is um, who you will hire in the next five to ten years. That's very important. Um also, your signature at the bottom and your phone number again at the bottom. So that's very, very important. And you can email the letter to Kirby's Kingdom at gmail.com. It's K I N G, I mean, excuse me, Kirby's Kingdom, K I R B Y S, K I N G D O M at gmail.com. Thank you. Or you can screenshot it if, if 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 that's too much for you. You can screenshot it to 610-470-8992. Thank you and have a blessed day.